This is exactly what my family road trips look like. Boob, I just saw boob. That's disgusting. That's not the worst thing I've put in my mouth. Dirty minded man. Where did the other girl go? Maybe she can join in. This is National Lampoon Vacation. And what even is a national lampoon? I have to remember what I'm saying here because there's lots happening on Patreon just now and this is a new poll. It's called the Director's Cut and John Hughes won. So if you want to be involved in it, then this is what happens. First step, patrons get to choose a director. Second step, I add 10 movies from the winning director and they are on Patreon that everyone can vote for. You don't have to be a patron. It's open to everyone. Step three, then I watch the top three movies and I tell you what I think about the directing styles and ideas and all of that stuff that I think I know about and I don't. So I think I said already that the first winner was John Hughes and he wrote this one. He didn't direct it, but we added them in because I think he wrote more movies than he directed. I know he did Ferris Bueller and we did that one not long ago and he did Home Alone and I've seen that like millions and millions of times. Listen, if you want to be involved in all of the voting, then you just have to become a patron. You, at this point, you are pretty much deciding what I watch all the time. But if you don't want to become a patron and you still want to stay on YouTube side, I will post everything that I can in the community section and let you know what is happening happening over on Patreon so that you can come over and vote for the second step. Does all of that make sense? Oh, I forgot to tell you what the three winning movies were. It's National Lampoon's Vacation Today. Someone please tell me what a National Lampoon is. Then we have Breakfast Club, which I have heard so, so much about. And then Planes, Trains and Automobiles, which I was going to do later on for Thanksgiving, but I don't celebrate Thanksgiving, so it would be pretty pointless. As of today, as of right, right now, we have just hit 40,000 subscribers. Now I know, I know there are like millions of other YouTubers that have millions and millions of millions of subscribers on their channels, but, but I am extremely grateful and I appreciate every single one of you. And I'm still that YouTuber that does a little happy dance when I get one subscriber. So if you want to make me do a little happy dance, then please subscribe if you haven't already and like this video and do everything that you can to help the channel grow. And I think we're just ready to watch. So, National Lampoon Vacation, John Hughes, ready and play. Oh yeah, someone said that I won't want to take my kids on vacation after seeing this. But we'll see. The Windy City, is that what it's called? I think that's where Ferris Bueller was. Do, 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 do. <laughs> he doesn't look happy to see you. On our way to California in the morning, the big vacation, the whole family, Wally World. Wally World, very Wally World. There she is. Where? Right here. Oh. The wagon. What an ugly ass car. Uh, this is not the car I ordered. You didn't order the uh, metallic P? Metallic P? Metallic P? Well, like urine pee. You know, I think you're right. I don't think this is the car. This is the new Wagon Queen family truckster. I think I know him, that little man. I'll get to the bottom of this. Yes, Mr. Ed. He's not getting to the bottom of it. Sports Wagon, where is it? I don't know, sir. <laughs> and you're not getting your old car back either. I just want my old car back. Looks like he's downgrading. <laughs> Looks like a slice of bread. Oh, he's got the car. I would be pissed. I would want my money back and the car and a discount off my next car. <laughs> Are you serious? Is, is this really our car, Dad? Is that the car making that noise? Why is it still running? Yeah. Oh, all new cars do that, I'll take it. No, they don't. It's an awfully long ride, Clark. I'm looking forward to an awfully long ride. How long is it? Chicago's like here and California's away over there. So they're going... Must take days. Easier to fly. Nothing worthwhile. And a flight would probably take hours. Who wants to see the trip dick? Trip dick. Trip dick. So I've worked out the whole trip on the computer so we get the maximum amount of fun time at Wally World. Okay, let's see. There's us and there's Wally World. Oh, wait. I didn't see how much miles it was. As we leave Chicago. 
Rusty, please do not eat the truckster. <laughs> it's like Pac-Man. Oh, great, Audrey. Thank you, Audrey. <laughs> Why are we flying? Because getting there is half the fun. Yeah, I like a road trip too. But not too long. That one's going to take ages. <laughs> I've seen that in real life, but it was bikes and not cases. He's gonna burn He's gonna burn me. Me. <laughs> this is exactly what my family road trips look like. Oh, but the kids join in too. How about the Wally World National Anthem? Okay. Let's hear it. Are they taking the piss out of Disney or is Wally World an actual thing? Marty Moose, Marty Moose. Yuck, that's me. <laughs> oh, 100% taking the piss out of Disney. What smells in here? <laughs> Rust, your feet. What smells in here? <laughs> Boys' feet. Stinky. That's funny. <laughs> Not the other side. Hmm. Oh, look what they're doing. Maybe not. <laughs> Clark, I think this is the wrong exit. What's the difference as long as we get across the river? I don't think so. I'll take you back again. Where are you now? Kids, you notice who all this plight? So just uh, make us appreciate what we have. Wait on you. Roll them up. <laughs> Roll up your windows. Well, I better ask these fellows how to get back on the expressway. Oh, I wouldn't. Uh, I wonder if you could tell me how to get back on the expressway. Fuck you, mama. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's a pimp in these hookers. Hey, uh, excuse me, Holmes. <laughs> Holmes. I'm not going to give you $5 for directions. I think that's fair, Clark. I think so, too. Get out of there quick. Yeah, you see which way you're going, Ah, right? they're stripping yeah, your car. Yeah, that's good, cuz... Uh... <laughs> this reminds me of the time in college when we drove down to Fort Lauderdale in my Austin Healy. Remember what we did in the car? I can imagine. Why don't we live a fond memory? Are you serious? No. Not in front of the kids. Okay, we'll wait. Wanna put your head in my lap? No. <laughs> you can't do that. Where's your seatbelt? My head's stuck. Stuck. Got it. See? See, Luke? Kids are awake. I know what you're trying to do, and I think it's sick. <laughs> you're tired. You get weird when you get tired. Let's just find a motel. You get weird when you're tired. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Oops. You're just going to end up in back in Chicago again. <laughs> Whoa! That's one way to kill a dog. Honky lips. Does that say honky lips? Oh, you made it. Well done. Boob. I just saw boob. What's with a banana? Do your back, honey. I've already done my back. Can I do your front? Go do your own front. <laughs> Can I do your front? <laughs> Ready for this? Mm. Yeah. Here's to a very relaxing vacation, a renewed love affair. <laughs> His voice. What's that noise? What's going on? Hey, don't you kids not? Oh my god, those poor kids. I bet they've seen worse though. Where's mom? I'm under here, kids. Weirdo Rama. Really? Lovely. Oh, Ellen, the old west was dirty. You know, I'm glad we didn't go to Hawaii. I'll bet you are. What was that an option? Hey, underpants. Hey, yellow. <laughs> oh, he's dead. He's dead. Okay. Oh, he's fine. Okay. He's fine. It's okay. I'm all right. I thought he. I thought he killed him. <laughs> a noise like that could impair the kid's hearing. It was real. It looked real, didn't it? I th hell, I thought it was a real gun. So did I. Didn't it look real, sweetie? What? Uh oh. Are you happy now? She's deaf. She's deaf. No. <laughs> oh, what's the difference? It was fun anyway. Let's have a drink. <laughs> what's the difference? <laughs> he doesn't care. He's having fun. It's now some mud. It's only the largest freestanding mud dwelling ever built. That's all. Okay, I want to see that. 
skip the house of mud. Besides, Catherine and Eddie are expecting us. Who's Catherine and Eddie? Your cousins. It's okay oh, by your me. Cousin. Personally, I'd rather see them. A pile of mud than Eddie. Eddie must be a treat then. Um, excuse me, your wife's right there. Love me. <laughs> Clark, you're doing 80 miles an hour. Doesn't seem like it, does it, Slow honey? down! Miles, I thought you guys worked in kilometers. Oh, dear Lord. The, uh, Rusty and Audrey, cousins Vicky and Dale. Dale, Dale looks about 100 years old. <laughs> and kids, why don't you keep little guests out back and show them your worm farm, huh? A worm farm. So, you're looking really fit. <laughs> fit? Fit's not the word I would have used. Yeah, I bet you could use a cool one, huh? Now you're talking. <laughs> uh, don't give him yours. Oh, don't drink it. I would never. And I French kiss. So everybody does that. Yeah, but Daddy says I'm the best at it. Uh, that's disgusting. You got asteroids? No, but my dad does. Can't even sit on the toilet some days. <laughs> <laughs> asteroids, hemorrhoids. Funny. Would you want to sell any of them to me? Shit, no. I cherish these. What is he wearing? How do you use a magazine? See, the guy taught me something really neat last year. Did you ever bop your baloney? What, you teach each other? Do you not just figure it out on your own? <laughs> Lovely. 12 with Aunt Edna. Aunt Edna? She's still alive? No, you bet. Wait, who's Aunt Edna? Looks like you've really got your hands full. Eddie says after the baby comes, I can quit one of my night jobs. One of? What does Eddie do? Nothing, I bet you. He's a bum. Oh, God. Vicky, can I help you with that Kool-Aid? Fettle kids. I don't know why they call this stuff Hamburger Helper. It does uh, just fine by itself, huh? Huh? What's that? What's Hamburger Helper? Real tomato ketchup, Eddie? Oh, nothing but the best. What? So confused. <laughs> what are they eating? So I guess he doesn't like Aunt Edna. You enjoy throwing up every five minutes, Claude? Claude. <laughs> Claude. Tell Clark and Ellen the good news. You're driving me to Phoenix. Oh, they're driving you to Phoenix. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, good luck with that, guys. <laughs> it's going to be fun. I'm real glad that things are going good for you, Clark. Laid off when they... Close that asbestos factory. He's fishing for money. The army cuts my disability pension because they said that the plate in my head wasn't big enough. Wasn't big enough. <laughs> he wants some money. Why don't you just ask him for the money, Eddie? You sure as hell can. Take a hint. Told ya. Could you maybe spare a little? Sure, Eddie. How much? It's going to be more than what you've got. About $52,000. 52000 What? <laughs> well, I'll take him care of. Okay. Okay, let's go. Come on, Edna. Lay off, lay off. <laughs> I quite like Edna. Oh, uh, what is it? Gift. Oh, you didn't have to buy me a gift, Eddie. Yeah, you don't have any money. You, you really shouldn't. Oh, have. those are great, Dad. Oh, they are stunning. Come on. No, no, no. I don't want to get them dirty. I totally wouldn't like them, Eddie. He doesn't like them. <laughs> Last time I saw you, Clark, you were, you remarked about how much you like mine. Yeah, be careful when you're complimenting things you don't like. Bye, Bye, Bye Ellen. Bye, Clark. Goodbye. Who is great <laughs> I saw that. I saw that. Here he is, you. Uncle Clark. Oh, All walked and everything. What is this, a dog? What is this, a dog? <laughs> he had the shit, so he slept in the barn. Uh. Oh, don't let him in the car then. Put him on the roof. Your favorite, bologna and cheese. I love sandwiches. I get so jealous when I see other people eating them. Oh, it's a girl. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, come on. You look like a tit. Your wife's right behind you. Oh, God. What is the it? dog went on the picnic basket. <laughs> <laughs> I 
just like, that's not the worst thing I've put in my mouth. All right, that'll be $37. And that price includes scenery and wildlife fun. Wait, is that? It's got a pool and everything. All right. Is that? I don't want to say in case it's not, but it looks like him. Is it him? You want my street? Please. What do you need my address for? We'd like to send out a mailer. Just eat the seeds. Oh, gross. That's yeah. This tent smells. And now this is your tent. <laughs> What's it smell of? <laughs> Sparky, the wild animal. Yeah. Oh, I think it's just the dog. Wild animal. I'm gonna go for it, honey. No. Yeah, it's just the dog. Ow. You guys are never getting the chance. Despite all the little problems, it really is fun, isn't it? No. <laughs> no. Sweetie, do you hear that rattle? Where's it coming from? Maybe you've got a snake in your car. What did you do? Hello, officer. What's the problem? Get out of the car. What did he do? <laughs> he looks serious. Explain this, you son of a bitch. <gasps> the dog! Oh my god. Look, I, I, I tied him to the rear bumper when I was packing the car. I, I'm very sorry. I feel terrible. Oh god, is it real? I can't, I can't believe that. The poor dog. Oh, the poor dog. Probably kept up with you for a mile or so. <gasps> Little mutt. Oh Jesus, that poor dog. He was a little shit of a dog, but still. Here she goes again. Also, how does she always end up behind you? Yeah, that's what you get being a perv, dirty minded man. What happened? <laughs> Are you all right, Clark? Hell yes, I'm fine. I'm having a ball. He's being a sex pest. I guess there's not much more that could happen to us. Oh, you've jinxed it now. <laughs> See? Whose bags are those? Number one, I've already called the bank and told them you lost them. B, there's no way we're going to find it when we don't even know where to go. One B. Three, I've got my... One B, three. <laughs> It's only Good the biggest clothes. goddamn hole in the world. Not your language. Make that the second biggest. <laughs> Ma, I saw some detour signs. Close the road, they put up big signs, like this one. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. You're buggered now. I think I broke my nose. I stabbed my brain. I just got my period. <laughs> what can happen? You be okay, Dad? I know what those oh, things are sure, called now. Sure, sure. There's two there's two names. Butte Sand. I can't remember the other one. First I didn't want to take this vacation. What? I thought it was your idea. It's given me a chance to spend a lot more time with you and uh, uh Audrey. 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 <laughs> the other one. When I was your age, my dad shared a beer with me and I thought it was the best thing in the world. He's not going to like the taste of it the first time. Nobody else does. When I was a boy, just about every summer we'd take a vacation. It's not his first time. We're going to have fun. <laughs> yeah, he's down to all. How old is he? He looks about eight. I just had a good talk with Rusty. You'll be in good hands here, honey. Where are you going? <laughs> You're not dying. Gotta be a phone or a gas station around here somewhere, honey. Yeah, stick to the road, though. So. Sort of thing happens all the time. A patrol car will be by any minute. Yeah, and people die all the time. Oh, 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 oh my God. Oh, See, I told you. Oh, What's going to happen to you? You're of his exact height and weight. All I know is the man was the same with children and a... She doesn't know his exact height and weight. <laughs> How the hell did you find them? It's a miracle. Never heard of no one so shit all stupid as you driving off that road. You must have got manure for your brains. <laughs> I would agree with that. How much you got? No, no, I'm asking how much the repairs are. I'm asking you how much you got. Oh, they're taking everything. Look, I don't have time to play around, okay? So how much is it? All of it, boy. <gasps> oh, you don't want one of them off your head. What's your sheriff think of your business practices? <laughs> he is a sheriff. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, you are not having good luck. All the bad luck is for you. I'm making this out for $1,000. All you have to do is give me $300 in cash and keep $700. <sighs> oh, I would do that. The only thing I can do is have you stay here until the check clears. Ten working days. Ten working days? Do it. How much did you get? <laughs> Run! Get your butts in the car. Go. Don't you want to look at the Grand Canyon? Wait, that's what the Grand Canyon looks like. That's not what I thought. Crack open those sandwiches I got at the gas station. I'm so hungry I can eat a sandwich from a gas station. Yeah, they're the worst. Oh, Audrey, wake up, Aunt Edna. It's time for her to eat and... She's been sleeping a long time. Maybe she's dead. Pushing on Edna on me. I'm sick of her lying on me all the time. Yeah, I think she's dead, guys. She's not fine, Clark. She's dead. Oh, she is dead. <laughs> <laughs> What are we gonna do, Clark? Just put it on the roof. We could leave her here in the first phone we pass. We could call your cousin Normie and he could come and get her, I guess. Oh, you can't do that. Come on, Mom. It'd be real easy for cousin Normie to find her. All they have to do is look for the buzzards. <laughs> He's right. Can't weigh more than 100 pounds. Oh, no. You can't put her up on that roof. Yeah, you can. Do it. What's the difference? She'll be fine. It's not as if it's gonna rain or something. She'll be fine. Oh, poops. Oh, she's sitting upright. <laughs> I would have laid her flat at least. <laughs> oh dear lord. Poor Edna. Yeah, just leave her there. She'll be fine. Look at her shoes. <laughs> lord, we love this woman with all our heart. Let's not overdo it, Mom. Shut up. <laughs> I hope at least you kids have learned something about life and death. Yeah, don't die. Don't die unless somebody's so What if she's not dead? What if you've just left her and she's still alive? He left his dead mother tied to a lawn chair in his backyard. I'm sure he won't mind. How often does he go to the back of his house? Because you might get home and never see her for like months. I wouldn't mind if we just went home. What do you think? I think you're all f***ed in the head. <laughs> dad, you want to ask for something? Don't touch! I think he's going a bit cuckoo. You have an uncanny knack for looking at the dark side of things. That's your problem. You wouldn't know a good time if it came up and bit you. Where are you going? <sighs> Bloody hell. <laughs> Shoes or something else. He's going to be bump into the girl with a fancy red car. <laughs> what did you just say to her? Being a sleaze. Waiting for someone? See, told you. Oh no, no, I'm not with the CIA. I was. Where should you speak? It's too bad you're married. Oh, you mean Don't those people I'm with? <laughs> it's my brother's family. Don't you dare. You only go around this crazy merry-go-round once. <coughs> Bless me. Oh dear. You don't have to have a credo, but... Oh, it's white as well, so as soon as she goes in the water, it's going to go see-through. My favourite credo. Ah. Uh, <laughs> she's taking it off! You know, penny saved and... Thank you. Oh, you're an ass. Are you going to go for it? Uh, here? Sure. Don't you swim? I hope your kids catch you. How's the water? Accelerating. That means it's freezing. You've got your socks on. <laughs> Uh oh. Clark. <gasps> I didn't see this person, so I uh I screamed. That's why I yelled. You're in trouble. Good luck when you get back. No, I was just ordering in. She's a pool waitress. I was uh, ordering in some fish for you. And... Stop lying. I got angry because you were right and I knew it. I was hurt, honey. I'm sorry, too. Why are you saying sorry? I want us to have some fun together. <laughs> Everyone's like, not again. Where did the other girl go? Maybe she can join in. Holy it's Wally World, World next, next three exits. exits. <laughs> Oh We've my god! <laughs> what a rip off. I think it might be closed though. There's nobody else there. First one's here. First one's here. Or it's closed. For two weeks, clean and repair. 
<laughs> I knew it. Oh god, did you not check beforehand? Clark, what are you doing? Break in. I just think somebody owes us an explanation, that's all. Break in. Come on. Clark. Clark no. Oh god, where's it going now? Where are you going? I'll be right back. Jeff's gonna get some sporting goods. God, what the hell's his plan now? You can fly home and forget this entire vacation ever happened. Honey, honey, just relax, oh, okay? I told them? you I'm not. They are. They're gonna break in. They're gonna break in. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Park's closed. Oh, it's John Candy. John Candy. Yeah, John Candy. How's this? Clark, have you lost your mind? He's lost his mind. We're not really violent people. This is our first gun. This is our first gun. <laughs> Lie down. Let's go lie down. Roll over. Stay. He's not a dog. <laughs> is that a real gun, Mom? I don't know, Rusty, but Father may be going away for a little while. I think so, too. Has your father ever killed anyone before? Oh, oh just a dog. Oh, oh yeah. and my aunt Edna. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> I had a bad experience on this ride once before. What happened? I threw up. I used to love theme park rides, but now I can't because they all make me feel sick. It got worse as I got older. Oh god, oh god. Whoa. Oh, it's making me feel sick just watching it. <laughs> Imagine you was sick though, it would go everyone behind you. And that used to be my favourite ride when I was little. <laughs> He's still got the gun to his head. <laughs> this is brilliant. That's not a real gun, is it, Clark? It's a BB gun. You're not going to... <clears throat> Clark! Oh, it's a good job he's got a big ass. Soften the blow. Please tell me if this is a real place. Freeze! There you go. And up against the wall. He knew this was coming. Oh, and the young girl's got weed on her as well. Who's this? How many are there? There's a lot of them. Five and one of the Arabs. Who the hell is this? He kidnapped me, Mr. Wally, but I want to tell you, I had a great time on your ride. <laughs> Well, somebody better explain or they'll, uh, uh, there'll be a lot of explaining to do. Someone better explain or there'll be a lot of explaining to do. <laughs> My children are being rusty. <laughs> nice family. <laughs> yeah, nice family. Two weeks of living hell driving out here. Lost a very dear member of the family along the way. Lies. He's lying to you. The smell from the back seat was to unbearably evolve. I know that smell. <laughs> It was a boy's feet. <laughs> Forget it, officer. I'm not gonna press any charges. What the actual hell? He got away with it. And now they're all gonna go on the roller coaster together. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Amazing. John Candy, yeah, it was Candy. I always get her mixed up with Goodman. Look at Edna's face. <laughs> oh, the poor dog. I feel so, so bad for that dog. Who said I wouldn't want to take my kids on holiday after this? Best vacation ever. Apart from the dog. Best holiday ever. Holy world. <laughs> oh, they flew back home. Good for them. <laughs> Another road trip all the way back home would have just been, that would have been too far. So that was my first John Hughes movie out of the three and I don't think I see anything yet. There is a couple of similarities that I noted between this one and Ferris Bueller, like the music and how itchy nose, like the complete utter obscene things that happened throughout the movie. It was a very 80s movie along with Ferris Bueller, but I think that I don't think I've picked up on anything else. I need to watch more to see. I thought they were going to break the fourth wall in this movie and I don't think they did. Like, a bit like in Ferris Bueller, I thought he was maybe going to speak to the camera a lot and he didn't. But yeah, that's all I can think of right now. It was such a funny movie. It was very, very good. It was nice to see all the different places. The dad was 
such a sleaze and the mom didn't seem to mind. The kids were like still young but were treated like grown ups. <laughs> And that family in Kansas was just something else. They were like the family from Raised in Arizona. They were exactly the same. Just crazy. The, the, it's the family that keep having more and more kids, but they've got no way to pay for them. And I, and, and I just thought about the dog again, and I feel so, so bad about the dog. I know it's meant to be funny, and it's meant to be like a funny part of the movie, but I keep thinking about it being dragged along the road, and that's like... Oh. It would have been better if they did that to Aunt Edna <laughs> the dog died of natural causes. I don't like it when the animals die. So our next one is Breakfast Club and I have a feeling it's going to be another 80s movie and it's going to be very 80s and it's probably going to have that like weird silliness all the way through as well but we'll see. I'm going to take notes. I'm going to start taking notes. Oh, 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 I want to know. I want to know something. So you know how I said that I absolutely love sandwiches. I really, really, really love sandwiches. But I feel like I always have the same kind all the time. So you have to tell me if you've watched it this far and I haven't done this since Blazing Saddles, okay? Because I know, I know lots of you don't watch all the way through so if you are watching right now first off well done for getting this far second no wait b b uh i want to know what is your favorite sandwich filler and be specific also what type of bread do you use and also sauces and then three thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one goodbye